which championship team is getting automatically promoted with Burnley Football Club this season? Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. Today we're going to be breaking down the automatic promotion battle. Before we get into it, do feel free to share your opinions down in the comments. Do make sure to hit that like button. We'll go for 200 likes on this video. And do make sure to subscribe. We're nearly at 26,000, so hit that subscribe button. So then, if you look at the championship table, you can see that Burnley are running away with it. They have been for the last few months. At first, it seemed like it was Burnley and Sheffield United pulling away, but Burnley have opened up a 17-point gap over Middlesbrough, and Sheffield United's gap is currently only four points, but with a crucial game in hand tonight against Reading. With Burnley having only lost two games this season, we're not going to discuss them in this video because it is inevitable they are getting automatically promoted and probably going to win the title at the same time. If anything, they could set records. They're doing brilliant. But we're going to focus on the fight for second place. As we said, for a long time it does look like Sheffield United are in the driving seat and they currently still are but at the time recording this video three defeats in four has allowed other teams to close the gap and obviously a lot of attention has been at Middlesbrough but we could also discuss Blackburn, Luton and maybe Norwich today as well and see if they could actually get in there. Let's start with Sheffield United. So then the first thing I must point out with Sheffield United is they do currently at this moment in time have a game in hand which they are playing tonight against Reading which we will be doing a live stream for on the channel so check out for that. After that, everyone has 11 games left and these are Sheffield United's 11 games. As you can see, I've highlighted the games in red that they're playing against other teams in the top 12 in this division and there's quite a few tricky ones. It's really important they get something from this Reading game because they then have Luton Town at home, which is definitely going to be tricky because Luton Town are a solid team and they did draw 1-1 back at Kenilworth Road. Sunderland away, which could be interesting, could be a banana skin as Sunderland have been very good despite losing their most recent games. Norwich City away, which is going to be tricky with Norwich starting to turn a corner. Then they have Wigan Athletic at home, which you've got to say is a must, must win. Obviously, they need to pick up some points in the six pointers, but those games against teams in the bottom 10, Sheffield United have to win. They cannot drop points to those teams when there's teams behind them trying to chase them for second place. Then it's Burnley away, which is going to be tough. I know Sheffield United beat them 5 2 at Bramall Lane, but that is a tough one. Then they have a run of three games against teams in the bottom half. Cardiff City, Bristol City at home, and then Huddersfield Town away. Once again, Sheffield United really needs to target nine points there, at least seven, just to keep the gap pretty healthy. It's then West Brom at home before Preston at home and Birmingham City away. So I think for Sheffield United the next few games are the trickiest. So it could be a case of things get worse before they get better. I still have Sheffield United favourites despite their wobbling form and I'd say Sheffield United have to win a minimum of seven of these final 12 including this game against Reading. Obviously they might need to win eight if Middlesbrough really push them. If Middlesbrough and the other teams collapse then Sheffield United might get away with only winning six. It's going to depend on how the other teams perform but I do still have Sheffield United as the favourites the position they're in at the moment. Up next are Middlesbrough and they are absolutely flying at the moment. It's weird to think how Middlesbrough were in the bottom three at some point this season. They started so poorly under Chris Wilder and Michael Carrick has done a fantastic job at blasting them back up the division. I thought at the time if you could get them anywhere near the playoffs it would be amazing but now they're on 60 points with 11 games to go. It does look like the top six is very very likely with the form they're in as well and they can actually start looking up towards the top two. Middlesbrough obviously have the top scorer with Tuba Akpom who's absolutely firing in the goals and their goal difference is actually catching up with Sheffield United which could be very crucial if it comes down to goal difference. Middlesbrough's fixtures, well this is interesting, their next four games are all quite winnable. Yes Preston are highlighted in red as a top half team but they're only 12th in the table. You look at Swansea away, Stoke at home and Huddersfield away in particular and think Middlesbrough surely will win at least three of the next four. I wouldn't rule them out winning all four. Obviously Obviously it's the championship and surprise results could come up. They then do have Burnley at home which is obviously a very tricky game and a real test. Sheffield United will be hoping Burnley do them a favour but it'll be interesting to see both Middlesbrough and Sheffield United play Burnley around the same time. Then it's Bristol City away, Norwich at home, that's a massive massive game again. Hull City at home and then that's a pretty tough final three. Luton Town away. Rotherham away who could be fighting for survival and then Coventry at home on the final day and obviously Coventry could be playing for the playoffs at that point. I think Middlesbrough are going to keep going the way they are. They're absolutely chugging forwards like a train. They're going at a million miles per hour and I have it that if Middlesbrough can win nine of the final 11 that will get them in the top two. Eight could be enough but once again it will come down to how Sheffield United get on. Technically it's not in Middlesbrough's hands because if Sheffield United end the season incredibly well Middlesbrough will not be able to catch them but 
Let's just wait and see because they have been shutting the gap recently. Next up, we'll come on to Blackburn Rovers. Blackburn are a team we thought we'd be discussing about maybe just finishing inside the playoffs, but they're obviously up to fourth at the moment and six points off that top two at this moment in time. Yes, once again, Blackburn Rovers need to wait and see how Sheffield United get on in their game in hand. But look at these fixtures for Blackburn Rovers. The next three are all very winnable. Yes, they've got that FA Cup quarterfinal coming up against Sheffield United as well, which is going to be absolutely crazy. But Stoke City away, Reading at home and Burnley. Birmingham City away. Blackburn really want to target maximum points from those three and if they do pick up nine points it's very likely they'll have shut the gap once again. Blackburn Rovers pushing for the top two would be crazy. They then have Norwich City at home which is once again an absolutely massive game in determining who could be where in this top six conversation. Huddersfield away, Hull City at home and look at this final five for Blackburn Rovers all against current teams in that top half. Coventry City, Preston North End away, Burnley at home, their rivals, Luton Town at home and Millwall away. If they were to go on a brilliant run, they could find themselves pushing for that top two with a couple games to go. If they go on a poor run, they might just be fighting to stay in the top six. But Blackburn have been amazing. Can they keep it up? Blackburn fans, let me know what you think. Next up, we'll come on to Luton Town. Now, Luton Town are currently seven points off Sheffield United, once again, having played a game more. But Luton Town are a very, very good team and I do feel confident they'll make the top six and it isn't impossible they'll make the top two. What could be massive is their next game, Sheffield United away. If Luton were to somehow win at Bramall Lane, then that would really open up the conversation and there'll be a lot of positivity and momentum going into the final 10 games for Luton. Winning away at Bramall Lane is a very, very tricky feat and very few teams can do that. But Luton Town are one of those teams where I'd say it isn't impossible. Their next games after that are Bristol City at home, Sunderland away, Watford at home, Millwall away. Those next three after Bristol City are very, very juicy. Blackpool at home, Rotherham away, Reading away. Once again, Luton Town, could they target nine points, who knows, before two potentially block-busting games, Middlesbrough at home and Blackburn away before ending at home to Hull City. Once again, a good run for Luton Town and they could be in the conversation. I'm looking at those games against Middlesbrough and Blackburn and thinking they are massive. The final team we'll mention in this conversation are Norwich City and we're probably looking at Norwich having to win 10 out of 11 to have a chance of doing this. But to be fair, Norwich City are one of those teams in the championship that do know how to win game after game after game. They've picked up four wins and one draw in their last five which has got them into the top six and their next few games are Sunderland at home, Huddersfield away and Stoke City away. If they can target nine points that'd be massive going into the home game against Sheffield United and once again if they were to beat Sheffield United then that really opens things up. Norwich fans can you see yourselves picking up 10 wins in this 11 to give yourselves a flickering chance of getting into that top two? It's possible but let me know your thoughts. So then guys that's as far as we'll go for the top two conversation. I know Millwall Cobb and Watford are just a couple points behind Norwich but realistically all of those teams will probably have to win 11 out of 11 and even that might not be enough. Give me your thoughts down below guys. Like I say do make sure to share your opinions, do make sure to drop a like and do make sure to subscribe. We're so close to 26,000 subscribers. Thank you for your support. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.